now comes the selection in selection if you will if you will use only if statement the if statement will check for a certain condition and then it will take output or a certain action so uh, as i told you that we are using python and uh, learning of pseudocode is also very important so you will learn first two rows in the first uh, you will uh, learn first two rows of this table in the first row pseudocode is written uh, pseudocode is a rough draft of actual uh, program uh, if the age of a child will be greater than 17 then output will be you are an adult then or end if python only uh, checks a condition using a colon and indentation is very important indent means a space on the left hand side is very important in python and it just uh, prints the value and does not uh, end the if statement uh, if then else statement because the user is given one more choice also now first choice will be given after then and the second choice will be given after else so there are two choices in if then else statement and then the if will be closed in the case of python you will write if age is greater than 17 print you are an adult with else will be written with a uh, colon and then this second part of the program will be printed so over here else is missing after first print this is the first choice you are an adult and this is the second choice for the program that you are a child uh, now comes the case statement in case statement all the options that are given have equal chance in if statement only one of them needs needed to be executed over here every option has an equal chance uh, so in pseudocode form you will write that if the user uh, presses plus then uh, the two numbers that uh, that were initially present in that will be initially present in the program will be added together and they will be saved uh, the sum will be saved in the answer if the user gives an option of minus the first number uh, second number will be subtracted from the first number and answer will be saved in the answer if the user will press an uh, asterisk second number will be multiplied with the first number and it, the answer will be saved in this variable named answer same is the case with forward slash the first number will be divided by the second number if none of the above options will be selected then last statement will be printed on screen same is the case statement uh, we use if elif option and for the last option we use else so for first option we use if then for rest of the options we use elif and for the last option we use else so if this is a variable named op value if the user presses plus plus will be um, saved inside op value and uh, the um, two numbers the, the two given numbers will be added together and the answer will be saved in answer if the user press uh, gives um, uh, presses minus if minus will be saved in op value and second number will be subtracted from the first number and the answer will be saved, saved inside the variable named answer if the user presses asterisk it means that both num given numbers will be multiplied and the answer will be saved inside answer and if the um, user gives a forward slash uh, it means that the, uh, there is a misprint over here first number will be divided by the second number and the answer will be saved in answer you can see ellipse along with and for the last option else is written with, with a colon and it's printed on the screen that this is an invalid operator